Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Mayana Taylor. Thank you for clicking on this video. If you are a new subscriber, welcome. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button for me. If you are a returning subscriber, hey, <laughs> welcome back. Today I'll be making an easy, cute, furry cushion. If you are interested in how I made this, please stay tuned. But don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. But without further ado, let's get right into the video. So. For this video, you will need a foam cushion. I got this from Joann's. And then you will need a measuring tape, some scissors, a Sharpie, and a glue gun. Y'all do not judge my glue gun. It done been through some hard times, but it has done some great things. <laughs> so yes, you will need all of this. And I got this from Joann's, and I will be listing it down below. Alright guys, so here is the chairs that I'll be using in this DIY. I got them from a used a used furniture store. They were $20 each. So I will be using these and they're actually from Ikea. Let's see if it'll focus. And, nope, it doesn't focus. But yes, here are the chairs that I got. Super cute. They're acrylic. All right, so right here, I'm just measuring two inches from the foam on each side to make sure I have enough fabric to glue. At the two inch dots that we measured, you will start cutting along the foam. Instead of measuring again, I am laying the original piece of fabric on top of the remaining fabric. So I was using some glue at first that I thought would work, but clearly it did not. So let's just ignore the dried up glue. So we are going to use the hot glue gun to glue the fabrics together. And also, this fur will shed so much after you cut it, just an FYI. All right guys, so here are the final results. Very cute. I love this fur. All right, there we are. There we are, just simple and easy. And you can use this for, you can use this for any type of chair. So this will be my new YouTube setup. If you guys are interested in this backdrop, this background, I will link that video below on how to make the little vine background. But this is how everything turned out. All right guys, that is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching it. I hope this video was helpful for you guys. Go ahead and follow me on my social medias if you have not done so already. 
Let me know down below if this video was helpful for you and let me know if you are gonna try it. That is it for this video. I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.